Hey there, I've got a question for you. Is it more important for you to be liked than it is to be respected? And before you answer that question, I'm going to ask you to participate in a 10-point survey that will answer that question, and you may be shocked by the outcome. Hey there, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com and welcome to this week's episode about approval seeking, the importance to be liked. And speaking of likes, since I threw the word out there, please like and share this video and leave a comment below. Come on, while you're here, hit the big like button and share the video. Now, this whole idea of approval seeking, unlike people pleasing, where it's outward, your focus is to make people feel good about themselves and the byproduct is you feel good about yourself. Approval seekers need that constant reassurance that they're liked, that they're part of the group, that they feel like they fit in. The problem is when they do this, this kind of behavior, people catch wind of it. They can actually feel the insincerity, almost the desperation. And part of this comes with you not having to think that you have to be all things to all people. And that's what happens in sales. We become so focused on trying to accommodate everyone that we forget about ourselves. We forget about the true nature of who we are. And it goes back to this whole idea of approval seeking. You need to be liked. It's almost like some kind of addictive drug. But the downside of this is it doesn't necessarily make you feel good about yourself. It's an empty, hollow feeling. As a matter of fact, lack of achievement, lack of personal fulfillment, low self-esteem and confidence levels, reduce performance and increase stress. Those are some of the byproducts of constantly trying to seek approval from others. Well, I mentioned a 10-part survey, so let me ask you these questions. And as I do, give some serious thought and answer to yourself, yes or no, if this applies to you. Changing your opinion to accommodate others in a discussion. Number two, being insincere when you flatter somebody. Number three, telling a lie just to stay positively involved in a conversation. Number four, acquiescing, acquiescing sorry, and saying yes to an activity when you wanted to say no. Number five, deliberately scattering gossip around just so you can be a part of the group. Number six, always asking for permission. Number seven, apologizing unnecessarily after someone disapproves of your opinion. Number eight, hunting for compliments. Number nine, feeling annoyed when you don't receive an appropriate compliment. And finally, number 10, doing bizarre things to get attention. Now, if you answered yes to any of those questions, don't feel bad about yourself because there still is hope. Again, it's not about the like, it's about having that self-esteem, the confidence in yourself to be the perfect you versus an imitation of somebody else. You don't have to be searching for likes. You just have to like yourself. And I know that's like, you know, ooh, voodoo type psychology stuff. But believe it or not, this is from a clinical psychologist here. So let me just scroll down here. There's actually eight things that you can do to transform or escape that pursuit of approval. And what are those eight things? Well, I'll put a link here in the video and it's actually in the corresponding article that comes with this video. So make sure you read those eight things because there is hope for you. So once again, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle. Once again, give us a like, give us a share, and here's something, we like you for who you are.